out there. Uh, Hit her anchor. I missed. I fell off. Don't know how I fell off. Very spectacularly. Yeah, my usual falling off shit. Guarding the ladder. Shot her. Climb ladder. She missed. Sorted me. I fell off again. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking eating. It's garden ladder. I'm hiding under the ship. Oh. They already had their sails up and coming for us. They were good in that respect. Yeah. They're better than what we normally play against. Yeah. Hey, Bl oh, there he is. Okay. What's up, Blizz? Hopefully, he wasn't watching. I'm sure he was. <laughs> Just waiting for the. Wow, you guys suck. That was a. Yeah. Uh, how did that hit? I don't even know how that one hit. You got yourself a little bit of a spank in there. That's all right, though. Yeah. That was point blank right in the face again. Didn't even aim at me and hit me. What the fuck? That was... I don't know what that was. That was Swordner. Didn't hit. Fucking point blank blunder to the face. Didn't hit. Wasn't even aiming at me. Hit me. Killed me. Yeah, it could have been lag. lagging. It had to be. Oh well. It is what it is. For skips. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Alright, doing a quick restart. <laughs> Alright. What was I looking for? That's what I'm looking for. How's Blizz today? If you're talking, we're not hearing you, by the way. Oh shit, I'm gonna get hose. Alright, I'm back. We're back. You know what it was? What? We're just so used to people being really bad. Oh, that could have been. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. <laughs> uh oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that's you. There you go. Oh, man. I think they would have uh, sunk us anyway. If we allied with them. I'm sure they would have. At some point, I'm sure. They didn't seem to be the friendly folk. <laughs> Speak imagination. I don't have one of those. Imagination? Eh. God damn it. Alright, give me a second here. No problem. Alright. 
batteries down on my headphones. Is that actually pumping right now? Yeah. Okay. That's not good. Yeah, it happens. Probably have a uh, LED lights on or something. Yeah. S stupid. Okay, come, come, come back here. My water pump just decided to go rolling down the hill. No, they're off, so I don't know why. It's zero. Alright, whatever. Should be good now. Fuck was I? <laughs> Julian, who? No, I was uh, gold bars. Where the hell is my? Oh, I'm having issues. There. Try to set up the electric water pump. Ah. Better get a little bit extra back. Ooh. Apparently, uh, Blizz couldn't get his Discord working. Oh, he sent you a message or something? No, he logged out. Oh, I thought he was still here. Uh, nope, he's logged out. Oh, shit. Figures, you know. <laughs> it gets on just as we get off the fires, too. Yeah. Or see if he is, rather. Sorry. Yep. Eh, same thing. I did that. Ooh, gold bars are high right now. Are they? Twelve ten. I think when I sold my last ones, it was at twelve sixty. <laughs> well, it's high on mine. I just looked at the graph, and it's the highest that it is. Oh wow! It has been. Well, I'm only on day four. True. <laughs> All right, fired up. I got some light. Putting in a good amount of water now. Enough to get ahead. Slowly. Oh, I have to turn that electric pump on. Duh. How the hell's the power button on this sucker? Right there? Is that it? Okay, this is weird. What's that? Well, it's not raining out, but when I go in my truck, it rains. <laughs> weird. Go fire up the other plant here. Fire up Frank. Frank A! Much are you, huh? There it is. 6100? Jesus. How much are you guys? 2800? 4400? I don't need you. I need you.
Hello? Hey. There hey, is. there he is. Fucking mic wouldn't work, man. Hey, welcome to Discord. Like How you guys yeah. doing? Hey, we're all right. Got Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. but, right at the end. Yeah, but we had a good night otherwise. Did you? Yeah, we had yeah. Uh, two kills and we let one guy go. We had you, guys are, you guys are winding down collecting gold? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Trying to relax. Get the adrenaline down. Yeah. The frustration, too. Yeah. A little bit. Can't shovel for shit for some reason. I'm tired of fucking shoveling. <laughs> did you get your 20 inches? Oh, yes, we did. I figured you probably did. Yeah, and I went up to Henrietta's, the fucking snowblower place, and I guess when the township went by, they picked up a bunch of fucking boulders and dropped them into her driveway. Oh, how nice. I never seen them because there's over, there's two feet of snow, right? Jesus. I can't see that shit under, so I'm coming out with the fucking snowblower on the tractor, and man, yeah. I hit a fucking, I hit a boulder under the Ooh. snow about probably 17 inches in diameter, and the fucker bent my inner fucking fan blade. Oh. Snap the fucking, oh man. Wow. What fucked me up is it bent my fan blade. You know, on your two stage, you got your front augers and then your fan blade, which throws it out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It bent one of the fucking ears on the fan blade. That fan blade won't fucking turn unless it oh. sure spins up and off. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Yeah, because cool. it is a cocksucker to tear the fucker completely down to get to that. Well, yeah, you're not going to have much choice either. Well, I got a choice. Uh, city <laughs> no, no, that won't. That won't go over. They don't give a fuck. They have no idea when their plows pick up fucking boulders. And the problem was that these boulders were stacked around this fucking drain pipe. Oh, it's like that. Okay. Okay. But when their wing plows come around, because she she lives at the at a circle. The circle is the end of her road. And when they come around that circle to leave. They probably picked up them boulders and pushed them into her driveway at that time. Yeah. Well, again, I don't see them when there's two feet of snow. Oh, yeah. How can you? Oh, I was so fucking mad. So, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I get a torch, I can heat that fucking blade up nice and hot and I can bend it back. My. That's the only way I think I could do it. But, and I ain't tearing it down. I'm fucking telling you right now, I'll take that motherfucker to a dealer. <laughs> yeah, it, ain't the trouble. it ain't it ain't mine to get involved with that fucking much. <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to sit out in somebody's cold-ass motherfucking garage and tear that tractor apart. Well, yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> There's people that do that for a living. They get paid sixty-five, eighty-five dollars an hour to do that. <laughs> well, you know, they could offer to do it for that kind of money. <laughs> I don't want to do it. That's the problem. I, I mean, if I had a trailer, a decent trailer, I got a couple at the farm, but they're way too fucking big. Yeah. Uh, I'd pick it up and take it up to the farm and put it in the barn where it's nice and warm and. I'd examine it a little bit to see what I could do, but I still say the only way to do it is take a fucking set of torches and heat that fucking blade up on the end and bend that fucking end back. Yeah, that's gonna be the most the quickest anyway. I mean, I can carry that. Invasive. I can soften that metal up real fast with a torch to bend it, and I don't care about tensile strength. I don't care about any of that shit anymore. Or tempering, you know. And the problem is, is these fan blades are cast, I think. That'll make it a little tricky. Yeah. I'll probably melt the fucking metal before I can roll it. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, Cass has had a tendency to shatter, too. Well, not always. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I really fucking don't. Even if I broke that tip off of it, melted it off, it would be better than what I have right now. Yeah, at least it would work. I think that's Somewhat. the goal right now, is just trying to get one working, I would assume. So now I'm going to try to haul mine up there this morning. Oh, yeah, and here's the right. Then I went to the farm, right? I got so mad. So fuck this. I'm going to go up to the farm. Well, that was a mistake. I can't get to my fucking barns. Oh, Jesus. That bad? Jesus. I, uh, let me tell you something. This is no fucking exaggeration, man. When you pull up to my gate, the snow is four and a half feet deep, probably by oh. 16 fucking feet. Holy shit. Because my driveway, you come in, it goes right down, it dips right down about four feet, five feet, and levels off, okay? I have five and six foot fucking drifts across my fucking property up there, my driveway, that I don't even know if my bucket tractor can clean this fucking thing out. Yeah, that's way deep. Jesus. I have never in my life seen this much fucking snow up there. And I mean wow. never. <coughs> when we got hit with that 20 plus inches here, they must have got hit with three feet up there. Because when I drove up there, I drove up and I pulled up by the fucking gates and I can't even get close to the gates. I sit there and I look and I said, oh my fucking God, what am I going to do here? Huh. Kind of screwed on that one. Oh my God, I'm just sitting there looking and I'm going, oh my God, my bucket tractor. I'll kill that thing trying to move all that fucking snow. I mean, I had some deep snow last year where it took me to one day, it took me four hours just to clean that parking lot, right? I don't think I could do it in four hours this time. Damn. Because every every bit of snow is going to have to be bucketed. I'm not going to be able to push a thing. Because it's too heavy and too deep and there's four inches of water underneath this fucking snow. Yeah, so it's going to, and the freeze is going to turn to ice afterwards. So, man, I just, uh, I don't know, but... Today or this morning, I'm going to uh, see if I can load it. See, I got a cap. I got a fancy cap on my truck. And uh, I'm going to see if I can load my snowblower into my fucking truck and take it up to her house and snowblow her out because nobody can come and see her. Which isn't good. They can't even get up her fucking stairs, man. Her stairs are goddamn two and a half feet deep. Fuck. Yeah, that's insane, man. <laughs> I mean... I mean, Jesus Christ, if the ambulance had to come, I don't know how they'd get through the fucking snow and up through her door. Call fire. That's the only thing they could do. But I don't know what fire's going to do, though. But, man, I'll tell you what, when they, I mean, we got hit. We got hit fucking hard. Not as hard as that place east of us that got 42 inches on that last snowstorm that went up the east coast. <coughs> But yeah, I got 20 inches plus. Wow. The snow was so deep in my driveway that it was higher than the barrel of my snowblower. How does that, that'll tell you. It was deeper than my snowblower. But man, that little motherfucking snowblower. That motherfucker. They, <laughs> could, they needed to call that top boy or some shit. <laughs> Because that motherfucker, nothing stops it. I'm telling you what, that son of a bitch went through that deep ass fucking snow, wet deep snow, two feet deep, and I had no problem with it. I mean, it it, it bogged me down, but it didn't stop my machine at all. I was yeah. just really, and I've never went and ran snowblowers like that before, you know. I always sat on the tractor and ran a snowblower or a plow. Uh, that's pretty impressive. But yeah, that's it's really a nice snowblower, man. If you ever have to buy one, make sure you buy a simplicity. All right. They really are rated very high. Blue's approved. <laughs> and I mean, I've been wanting snow. You know, I'm thinking, oh, I get myself six to eight inches. See how this bad boy going to work. Well, you got what you asked for, didn't you? I got what I asked for and then some. And I'm just tickled shit that it worked well.
<laughs> but it takes me forever, like in my driveway. My driveway is about 75, 80 feet long, and I go from two to three wide at my garage. So, you know, it takes me two and a half hours to do my driveway. Pretty split the snowblower. As deep as the snow was, yeah. I mean, it was two and a half hours of walking. And, you know, I I bought a new pair of boots this year. I haven't bought a new pair of boots in 35 years. I've been wearing a pair of sorrels for the past 35 years. I swore they were the best boot ever fucking made back then, right? Sorrels are great. Yeah, well, anyhow, I decided to switch up because all my, my sons and my grand and my son-in-laws, they all wear these fucking... 16, 18 inch high top camouflage hunting boots, insulates and shit, you know. So I went looking and I ended up buying a pair of them uh, lacrosse. I heard those are Six, good. Around, yeah. 16 inch, not 18. I bought the 16 inch. And uh, I have a bad left foot from my motor tackle accident that's all fucked up. And for me to wear anything is really hard because I walk off them and it hurts my foot. I put my I put these boots on, gentlemen, and I'm gonna I tell you what, I swear to God I was standing on fucking air clouds. That nice, huh? Oh my god, Patch. You more than anybody. I don't know what you wear for <laughs> boots. I wear danners. Okay, but being a hunter as you are. Yep. Oh, these motherfucking these lacrosses were so are so nice. Oh my god, I couldn't believe how comfortable they were and how warm they are. Yeah. I've never had my feet stay that warm. <laughs> Even with and I swore by sorrels, man. Yeah, I used he's... to wear those when I was uh, younger, but then I switched over to Danners, man, and Danners, holy shit. Then you wised up, right? Uh, Danners are fucking awesome boots. See, no, I never heard of Danner. They're uh, the high end. Expensive. Are they? Yeah, but worth it. Good warranties but, and shit. Yeah, yeah. Usually when. You, yeah, usually mm -hmm. when you pay good money for stuff, you're paying a re you're paying good money for a reason. Oh yeah, yeah. I got a. Uh, I got like a, a summertime hiking boot of theirs and. Yeah, you know, it's pretty much you know, walking on clouds. It's you, you don't even feel like the weight of them, and they're yeah, just so light and perfect. I mean, you know, I see my sons and them walk in with them. Man, I stuck one on one time. I said, "Man, how can you guys stand these big ass bulk fucking boots?" Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I busted their ass all the time. Well, guess what? I'm wearing one of them big ass, bulky ass boots. <laughs> <laughs> And I and I, every time I walk in the door to Betty, I go, "Man, I'll tell you what, best investment I ever fucking made." <laughs> yeah, hey, you gotta have good boots. Because for my feet to be comfortable, man, that's a blessing for me. And man, these boots did it. Because my yeah. left foot, see, the problem is my left foot's bigger than my right. Because I totally smashed the left foot, and they had to do subtalar fusions, and there's all kinds of joints fused together in there, and. I don't have the mobility of my left foot that you have with your right. So for me to wear things, it, it hurts my foot a lot. I walk off of everything. Literally walk right off the left side of the shoe. Wow. Because that's the way my foot ended up. And uh, so I would never buy expensive stuff, expensive boots, and that because I would walk right off of them. Yeah. In... In 30, 60 days, man, I'm hurting bad because I'm already working off the friggin' heel of them. So I never buy expensive stuff because I go through them so fast. No point to but, it. man, I, you know, but the boots, you know, you're only going to wear them in the wintertime. You're not wearing them every day for 12 months, you know? Yep. So I thought I'd give it a whirl, and I did, and I don't regret it as long as it'll stay straight. Hopefully it will. My next pair, I actually want to do a uh, try Cabela's. A Cabela's? Cabela's boot. Yeah. Well, they'll have a lifetime warranty, and if anything happens, I can just take it back and get a new pair. Yeah, well, that's what the, the lacrosse app. Yeah. 
any problem, man. Just send them to them. If they can't repair them, they'll send you new. Mm-hmm. But I don't know what's ever going to happen to mine, you know? And roll his machine down the fucking hill. <laughs> looking that way, isn't it? Yeah, looking that way. <laughs> oh. I just smashed into a fence, so I'm not doing much better. Who's testing for blood? Yeah. I can't hear his TV. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry, man. <laughs> There's blood and sand and then testing for blood. Oh, my God. <laughs> now listen to it, fucker. <laughs> I'm curious oh, now. I'm like, who's testing for blood? What's going on over there? Forensic files. <laughs> ah. There ain't much on at 6.30 on Sunday morning, you know? No. That's why I would go to uh, YouTube I... and type in red green. <laughs> What's red fucking green? That's wait, fucking wait, 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 wait. You've never seen the red green show? No. Oh, my God. What do you mean, oh, my God? <laughs> I, th I thought that would be something that you would have watched. What the hell is Red Green Show? It's a Canadian show. Is it Canadian? Yeah. Yeah, they're Canadian. It's pretty old. Yeah, it was back the in the day. It, it may have been started in the 80s. Late 80s. But yeah, definitely 90s. Uh, it's pretty much about... Uh, some like backwoods um, Canadians, in a way. Trailer park it's a, kind of thing. Look up Canadian. No, no. Oh. What? M much, much more calmer than trailer park well, boys. Yeah, that's true. that's true. I mean, there wasn't drugs or guns. I highly recommend it. You may like it. Go to YouTube and look up what? The Red Green Show. The Red Green Show. Yep. Change your life. It actually might. <laughs> no. No, not saying for the better. <laughs> yeah. It's about guys that uh, are at a lodge in the you know, Canada, and you know, they just kind of do eh, a little rednecky shit, I guess. But it's, it's hilarious. It's funny. The Red and Green Show? Yeah, the Red and Green Show. Or, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, the Red Green Show. Just one Red Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy's name is Red. Well, no, green. not, not one word, but yeah, red, green, two words, no and. Ah, oh, I forgot a filter.
Oh, 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 I've seen these guys. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what they were called. Yeah, hey, I, re I remember seeing. Yeah, I got a bunch of these little videos on here. Yeah, I remember seeing yeah, these yeah. guys. I want to say it was 90s, early 90s, probably, at this point. Well, yeah, right. yeah, this one here was 98 that I'm watching. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're still going till today. Yeah. Or last year, I think. Probably, yeah. Weren't they on, like, PBS or something, too? It wasn't, like, a normal yes. station. No, it was PBS, yeah. That's what I thought. But yeah, it's it's funny. Uh, my favorite's always in the handyman corner. Huh. Yeah, I remember seeing them. <laughs> I've never seen them on TV. That's for sure. Uh, we used to Some, watch them all the time. Somebody had to show it to me on the computer because I I never watched the program on my TV. Ah. Yeah, we used to watch that shit all the time when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. Well, how'd Ghosty do? Pretty good. Did he? Yeah, he was actually a natural some of it. Harpoon. Well, that's, that's all he does. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all he does is play games. That's his whole life is gaming. That's what I said. I don't know what Ghosty does. I don't believe Ghosty works. Okay. And he lives at home and he's 30 some years old and I don't know what the story is there. Yeah, there's something, but who knows what. Yeah, but he does play a ton of fucking games. But yeah, he was pretty good. He seems like to shoot himself out of a cannon a lot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Love to shoot himself out of a cannon. Does he? Yeah. I can't even figure out how to get in the cannon. Well, it tells you to climb in, but I can never shoot nothing out. Uh, I can't even shoot a cannonball out of the motherfucker. Is it space or I right can't click? Even, I don't remember now. I can't even drop a fucking sail on the ship. I hold down right click or, or left click to climb in or R. You hold R. down R to climb in and then you hit left click. And it goes thump. Oh, you, when, I, when, I climb, up. when I climb in and hit my fucking fire button, it goes clunk. Hmm. You don't shoot out? No, it just goes clunk. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, maybe he's not holding it long enough. Hey, you gotta hold it. The fire button, you have to hold it down. To no, you have to hold... You gotta hold R to climb into it. It takes a second. And the, the R would do the clunk. I'm thinking like when you don't fully load a cannonball, it goes clunk sometimes. I don't know if that's the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. But if it keeps going, I'm just going to oh. walk out back my garage and piss that $20 away and move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we can get in with you, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to help you. I'll get in sometime with you guys. You know, yeah. when you're not on battling and going after big bucks. Yeah, because I I'm not you know I'm not going to be a, a no pain in your ass you know what I mean. Yeah, one of these weekday, just, weekday just ones when you know patches working late, and we're only on for an hour or so. We don't do much those days anyway. Get you on, get you a crash course. Listen, listen. All I want to do is drop the sail and go sail, and I don't give a fuck about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> all I want to oh. do is sail that fucking boat. You know what's really funny is you can steer it with no fucking sails. Yeah. Yep. You can also go backwards. I was fucking around because I can't get the sails up. So I was pulling myself around with a fucking dart gun, you know? Yep. But I'll get on there when I get more patience and fuck around with it some more. Yeah. Like well, I if, said, we get on with, if we get on with you, we can tell you... You know how to yeah, do shit. Yeah, and I told Ghosty, I said, Ghosty, you better learn some of that so you can fucking show me. <laughs> okay. Even when we were, you know, helping Ghost, yeah, we were running across things like, oh shit, I, I, how do we do that? Like something yeah. you don't even think about. It's like, oh, okay, that's not, yeah. I don't remember what it was, but there was something that was like. 
Well, you guys been playing the game since it's come out, right? It's only no. been out a couple of years. I've only yeah. been playing it since spring. I, I, I have. So. He's been playing it since, yeah. But I still suck at it. Sucky, sucky, long time. Fuck that up, fuck that up. Pretty much. $20 actually <laughs> right now, but you know. <laughs> So yeah, man, great fucking Sunday. I gotta go. I'll be gone all fucking day trying to move snow today. Ugh. You know, I got a big eight foot fucking snowblower, brand fucking new, up at the barn. Just can't get to it. That could, no, no, no. I, I mean, I I could get to it if I really wanted to get to it. I could get to it. I could I could plow my way to the other barn. Uh, but. Every time I put that motherfucker on the back of the tractor and went to use it, it sheared pins. Every fucking time. Ooh, what the hell? It never Ooh. fails. Me. Every time I would go to pick up that motherfucker, it would shear fucking pins. And I spent more time in the fucking barn trying to put pins in that son of a bitch than pushing any amount of fucking snow. Oh, they and I, wow. told Mal I told Malcolm, I said, Malcolm, I ain't putting that on the back of a fucking tractor. That son of a bitch is nothing but a pain in my fucking ass. Apparently, not, Jesus. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that son of a bitch. Well, no, not when you have to blow half your time fixing it. Just and that's exactly what I did. I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what I don't know about running a fucking snowblower, only that you throw the motherfucker in gear and you push fucking snow. The and then when you're done, <laughs> and then when you're done, you lift it up and you move up and you blow snow again, right? I mean, that's yeah. how you run a fucking snowblower. That's the way it should be, yeah. But this motherfucker shears fucking pins on me, my god! And like I said, I parked that fucker in the back of the barn three fucking years ago, four years ago, and I told Malcolm, I said, I ain't fucking with that thing. I'm not dealing with it. If I was you, I'd get rid of that fucker. Yeah, I wouldn't deal with that shit. Doesn't sound like worth the trouble, that's for damn sure. And then I just seen a guy on a John Deere tractor the other day with a snowblower in the front. That pissed me off. <laughs> why, why the fuck? Why the fuck? You got nine motherfucking tractors. Why the fuck would you buy a snowblower to fit on the back of a tractor when they make them to fit on the fucking front of one of your John Deere tractors? That's true. Uh why would you put a stupid fucking blower on the back of a fucker so you got to drive backwards all the time? That's true. That make much I, could never, I, I could never understand why people put snow blowers on the back of fucking tractors. I thought that was the only place that they could mount a snow blower because of the power takeoff was on the back, right? Yep. Bullshit. John Deere's got to <laughs> mount it on the front, too. Yep. Fuckers. You can do either or. It's probably more expensive on the... Oh, uh, I would imagine it is. One but on the you, front. You take like the look like the Kubota I'm running. That Kubota I'm running's got a 48 inch snow blower on the front of it. So it's running the PTO out of the back fucking shaft. That fucking shaft runs from that snow blower all the way under that tractor to the rear axle. To the PTO in the rear. Okay. That's how, how that works. Now when you lift them, they only lift up about Seven, seven, eight inches is all. Six, eight inches. Because you don't have the framework under the tractor to let the arms come way up. You know what I mean? Yep. So they don't lift up very far, but how far you need to lift the snowblower up? Only a couple inches to get it off couple the couple inches, yeah. yeah. So, but, and the other thing I found out is snowblowers are great until you get into really wet fucking snow then they're a pain in the ass especially when you got to start unplugging that fucking chute because it gets so goddamn wet yeah just let it out okay yeah i watch guys luckily i don't know maybe they changed it in my snowblower but yesterday when i was traveling around i seen more people on their fucking hands and knees cleaning their fucking chutes out almost I'll bet you out of 20 fucking snowblowers, 10 of them were cleaning their fucking chutes. Yeah. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were cleaning chutes. I mean, I've seen people with only a quarter of their driveway done, and man, there they were, down on their freaking hands and knees, taking that thing and cleaning that goddamn chute 
and for some reason, mine bogged way down. I mean, I was worried. I was going to stall mine a couple times, and I thought, oh, shit, she's going to bog down. She's going to plug that fucking chute, right? No, nah, she kept pushing it out that chute. Wow. So I lucked out on mine. I didn't have to clean the chute. Ah, that's nice. I was shove shit in there. there. I cleaned it when I was done because it was packed pretty good, but I'm going to go down and pick up some special spray for it. I should have done that before I started. But they got It's not a silicone. It's something else. It's a spray for the barrels of the chute snowblowers. And it's probably a silicone base just to make it slippery. Probably. Or an oil base or something, you know. But yeah, mine's going to get a big workout today because her driveway's bigger than mine and it's a half circle fucking driveway. <laughs> so, yeah, it's bigger than mine. And it's virgin. The only truck in it was me blasting through it in my fucking truck. <laughs> and, and let me tell you what, when I got in it, I said, uh oh. <laughs> 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 Maybe I shouldn't have done this, right? Uh. But I put them brand new tires on. Fuck that, man. That motherfucker just... It went through that two feet of snow like it was nothing. Well, that's nice. That's always fun, too. Oh, yeah. I love driving in the fucking snow. I have a Me riot too. in snow. It's just like we went out Christmas Day, the worst fucking day you can travel. Right? Yep. Yeah. All our kids said, hey, you're crazy. You better not leave the house. It's so horrible. Blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, I was calling him on the phone going, oh, 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 your gifts are on your porch. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, so we went around that horrible snowstorm, Betty and I, and we packaged all the gifts up. We double bagged them. I put the bag, on them over the top of them, and we stuck them in another bag, right? And we did this to everything. And we went around, we stuck them on the fucking porches. We still got, we still got uh, two more of our kids to drop off. To. But yeah, we were out. I mean, there was nobody in that fucking snowstorm. And Betty and I were fucking cruising around. We drove all the way out to fucking Edinburgh, which is 22 miles from my house, right? But yeah, I like driving in the snow. I could have stopped and pulled out a bunch of different people, too, but eh, that's too much like work. That is like work. <laughs> this is not like work. That is work. Uh, and then, you know, in my older stage, you know, I'll pull up and say, hey, you need a tow? Yeah, well, I'll, here you go. Hook up. <laughs> I ain't hooking up to your fucking car. <laughs> I'll hook it to my truck, but I ain't hooking to your car. You hook it to your car. That's your responsibility, not mine. Hey, I don't want to take responsibility uh. for... Messing their rig. I ain't. You're fucking right. You want me to pull you, you hook it up. Not my liability issue. I pull your fucking axle yeah, yeah. off. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> hey, I put a guy right back in the fucking ditch. I come down, man. This guy was in the fucking ditch, man. And he kind of waved me down, right? Yep. Yeah. I pulled over. I said, hey, man, I see you're buried. He said, yeah. He said, you think you can pull me? I said, hey, I don't know, man. I said, you got 30 bucks on you? He said, well, yeah, you'll pull me for 30 bucks? I said, I'll give you a try. I said, but I want the 30 bucks and I get you out. Not a problem. I got him out. I walked up to his car, man. I said, you got my money? He fucking pulls out. He pulls out his fucking wall. And he goes, oh, man. He says, I forgot my money. I said, not a problem. I put his ass right back in the fucking ditch. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled him right back in the fucking ditch. And I got out and I unhooked my fucking truck. And I said, next fucking time, have your fucking money. Yeah, or at least, you know, don't lie about it. Like, the guy, he, he didn't, he... He never said, well, he didn't know what to do. He had no idea. I mean, where I had him, it was not a problem. All I had to do was go down the road another five feet, and he was in the fucking ditch again. <laughs> so I put him back in a ditch and fucking drove away. Like, all right, have fun. 
And I'll tell you another one I did. Plow and snow. I had a customer that would fucking jack me and jack me. Every fucking time I would go to collect. I would send a bill. I would send a bill. I would send a bill. And they just wouldn't fucking pay. So I would go bang on their fucking door. Right? And I would say, hey, you know, you people got to fucking pay me, man. Right? Yeah. Well, they, they'd give me some of my money. Well, we'll, we'll give you more later. As you know, this is getting a little fucking ridiculous. Yeah, right? I says, I'm out here plowing you people. The least you could do is pay me. Right? Right. Well, we got a horrible snowstorm. And I was in one of them moods. I had a 12 pack of beer and I had a couple beers. <laughs> when I got to their driveway, I emptied the fucking road into their driveway and I pushed it from their garage. I packed it as tight as I could pack it from the garage to the fucking street. And left. <laughs> Oops. And, and I packed it. Huh? Never heard from them people. They never fucking called me. I never went back. I wasn't me either. Fuck that. I didn't give shit. <coughs> but yeah, the best one was the fucking guy in the ditch. He didn't know what to say, man. When I put him in that fucking ditch, and I jumped out of my truck and I unhooked and threw my shit in the back of my truck. I fucking <laughs> yeah. told him next motherfucking time, have your money on you. Down the road <laughs> I went. Yeah, I would have done the same shit. I don't like that. You you know, you're going to stop and help somebody. Hey, listen. It's going to cost you 50 bucks to 100 bucks to call a wrecker. Yeah, yeah. At least. You want to get you want to give me 30 bucks, I can jerk you out of there for 30 bucks. You know, whatever have you. I'm not going to do it. I'm not that nice of a fucking guy to tear my truck up for nothing. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're not designed for that or whatever. If you can help someone out, that's one thing. I'll help them out, but I'm not going to rip them off. I mean, if a little old lady was off the side of the road, I'd pull her out. Yeah. And I wouldn't say nothing, you know. But ninety percent of the time, it's assholes. They shouldn't even be on the fucking road that are stuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's why they're stuck. So some of them are ignorant that they need to sit there and not be on the fucking road. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, man. In my good old plowing days, I loved it when somebody pulled out in front of me too. Because as soon as I seen somebody pull out in front of me, I dropped my fucking blade. And you talk about scaring the fuck out of people. When you see a snow blade coming at you full of fucking snow, you gotta move quick. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean move quick. People, people will freak out. I've dropped my blade when the ground's completely bare. At nighttime. Hey, you got the sparks. Oh, my God. You ought to see me going down the fucking road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My buddy, what the fuck you doing? I said, I'm sharpening my edge. Leave me alone. <laughs> 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 and that's what I told him the one time we were out plowing that. And then it, it all melted. I picked him up the next day. We were going to go to work. And we're going down the road, and I just dropped my fucking plow for the fucking bit. The road was all salted and bare. And, what the fuck you doing? I say, man, shut the fuck up. I'm just sharpening my fucking edge on my <laughs> way, man. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I lost a line. Uh, bear must have got it. The machine wouldn't start. I was like, what the fuck? Ooh, that sucks. Yeah, like a line was snapped. Fucking bears. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, Ben. Batch. This game don't look like fun to me. Mess. <laughs> <laughs> this game just looks like a lot of fucking work. And not no big reward. There's no reward. Uh. No shooting somebody or killing, watching their boat fucking sink or <laughs> nope. taking their car over or some shit. Action. <laughs> No guns. You don't even get to go hunting. Big fish. Fuck. Yeah, in a pond with mud puppies. Well. Well, you can fish the river, right? Yeah, you get pondies then. Well, you can fish the ponds. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, not in here. In, in Sea of Thieves. Sorry. 
Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's nothing extra to do in here than what you see right now. Yeah. Try to keep all your machinery running. That's all there is to do. Get gold, that's it, yeah. I must have really pissed Navy off the other day. Why? I haven't talked to him in a couple of days. Oh, shit. No? Oh, no, uh huh? I told him he cries like a little fucking baby. I said, every fucking game we play, all I hear is you fucking crying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I said, Navy, I said, that's all you fucking do. Every. Fucking time we play. It's the game does this, the game does that, man. It's just getting fucking tired of hearing it, you know? Yeah. Never his fault. Never. Absolutely never. Jesus Christ. Take credit for something, maybe. <laughs> Of course, I nailed him on that paradise shit again. <laughs> uh, what's up, Navy? You're living in paradise. I said, Navy. I don't know how the fuck. I said, you sound like a broken fucking record. I said, living in paradise. You tell me how bad you're doing, but yet you're living in fucking paradise. I said, make up your mind. Either you live like shit or you live in fucking paradise. You're trying to convince yourself or, so, or, or you. <laughs> Living a dream. I'm sitting here looking at my four walls in my fucking basement, stalking my fucking goddamn preppers now. I'm living a fucking dream. The apocalypse is going to come. I am living the fucking dream. He's ready. <laughs> so, yeah, I probably pissed him off big time. That's good. Yeah, for, I need a couple days uh, break from it. Hey, you get a little break from it, yeah. Yeah, I don't think this cleanup's going to be as good as the last one. No? Yeah. I'm in some really shitty soil, but I need to get through the shitty soil to get to the good soil. I get there. Ten ounces. Actually, I think that was better than the last one. Though, not by much. Ten ounces? Yeah. Fuck, that's about 170,000, ain't it? No. No. <laughs> it's about, <laughs> about, Sounds good, though. About 10,000, I think. So, not horrible, but... Uh, okay. Page I mean, nice if it was that much. I'm course, thinking low. Then, uh, the claim owner's gonna take 45%, so... Wow. I thought they only got like 10%. Well, this one's 45. Ah, uh, fuck yeah. Go to another one. Yeah. So the lowest is 30. Oh, really? Yeah. But you can buy it out right now to pay the percentage, but I don't have the money to pay it. I can't get up on the fucking... Fucking... Fuck. Fuck. Gotta refuel everything. Always. When they don't like about this 12 to 1 time ratio, I run out of fuel so quick. Yep. One minute in real world is 12 minutes in game. Really? Yep. You can change it normally, but not on this uh, setting thing, this leaderboard thing. Yeah, this game type. Everybody's equal, so you can be competitive. Oh, what, what, what's that leaderboard? Where am I at? Back to 79th. <laughs> Ooh. Went the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of competition going on there. Uh, as soon as I get into the gold, it'll start going up. Which, um, yeah, I see I'm halfway to the gold. Oh, fuck you. I just got a I just got a fucking message. <laughs> Damn it. That's what you get for talking about him. 
golf? Uh. Yeah. It just said going to golf. And I just went on and clicked on my, and he's sitting in my fucking server. Blizzard, come please. <laughs> he can't come into this one because he hasn't been invited. That is correct, sir. Why no? We're keeping it that way, thank you. You know? <laughs> Fucking Navy. Navy, Navy, Navy. Well, he must have been sick or something. I don't know. <clears throat> or, he or, he, or he took a couple of days off of me. Because I pound on him every fucking time we golf. I usually tell him a bunch of smart ass shit while we're golfing. Somebody's got you know, it's, especially when he says, boy, isn't that something special? I said, what, you fuck up again, Navy? <laughs> <laughs> Of course. I, there's nothing special about that. You do it every time we play golf. <laughs> God damn, if it was 12 to 1, at least they could have made the fuel tank fill faster. Yeah, they should. Like, yeah, I can fill cool. up some stuff, but this mobile tank takes forever. I'm going to go here as response, gentlemen. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. We'll probably still I'm be back. with that. Hey, I'm probably getting done here pretty soon. Well, if I don't see you, Patch, I'll see you once see of thieves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good, Blizz. One of these days. Kind of late. I hope so. All right, Ben, see you later. Yep, you have yourself a good morning if I don't see you. Yep, thanks. Well, I was having a good morning. Oh. You might get a kick out of this real quick. Okay. One of my regulars at the shop, Brink comes in today. He brings me a Happy Meal for a late birthday present, Christmas present. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I I open well, it up. That's, that's oh, pretty no, wait, cool. It gets better. I open it up. There's a tube of my RSO oil inside. <laughs> There's what? Tube of my RSO oil. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so he's like, first you get your tummy full. You know, he was, what was he, how, did, what, how did he word it? I can't remember now. If your tummy's happy, then your soul's happy or something like that. I don't remember what he said. Oh, uh, that's, that's <laughs> funny, man. But, yeah. That's cool, though. <laughs> well, he used to work at one of the pot shops here, so he has connections. Yeah, that's so, cool. That's cool. I gave him like 25 bucks off his comics. So that's probably what, oh, it, not what the thing cost him. They're usually 20, 25 bucks. So. And he's had that's a rough cool. year like the rest of us, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not a great parking job. Uh, so you got to eat and get happy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty fucking hilarious. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool he did that, man. Yeah. He's a good guy. He's a hippie. Plays music. The MC's burlesque troupe, you know. Oh, shit. Cool, Don't, don't, don't slide in there. Don't, 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 don't. Stop, stop, truck. Stop, truck. Jack knifing in the Hi, ball. Man. Digging on. All right, gents, I'm heading over. All Fuck right. me to tears. All right, boys, have fun. You guys have fun, too, man. I'll see you later. Have a good day today. You, too. Oh, yeah. All right, see you. See you, later. See you, boys. Oh, I got a problem. It's a serious problem. Now's yeah. your problem. I started to slide into the hole. I got the truck out, Ooh. but the trailer's still stuck. Uh-oh. Oh, oh and I was missing on the pile a little bit there. I spent this way I can get it up. Come on. Oh, I don't Whoops. Think, I don't think I'm going to get this out. You're going to have to fix it. All right. Zoom in here. Restore. That's the only thing I can do. All right, let me get this thing repositioned a little bit here. Uh, let's see. I never remember these keys. <laughs> um, 
Me neither. Oh, oh. Come on. Where are we going? There we go. That's as far as it will extend. That's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Come on, climb. Oh, don't tell me that's fucking stuck too. Come on, I just need to go a couple feet. Couple feet? Yeah. I do wish there was a way I could have like a water valve closer. To turn off your water? Yeah. You have to go clear to the water tower to turn it on and off. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. Can't you just like remove the hose? Yeah, but then you're gonna well no because you're gonna keep pissing out water out of the water tower. Oh. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. All I need is a valve. Jesus. Yeah, I can't believe they don't have something like that on, like, the connectors. Oh, they have them showing. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I try to turn it. It doesn't work. Parking brake on. <laughs> Little details. Little details. Oops. I missed on that one. Also, help I didn't have this fucking flappy thing on top that keeps getting hooked on everything. I can't get close enough to the wall because of it. Really? That's because of how extended I am. Ah. I wish you could take the damn thing off little door that can put on top. Little door on what? On the excavator, the little top door thing. I don't know what you call it. Oh, the thumb? Yeah, throw it through. Yeah. Or you can, like, close the bucket. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah. It gets yeah. away when you're trying to get close to our wall. wall. Yeah, I can't even get close to the wall to dig. <clears throat> okay, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Pretty sure 
Okay, once I get past these two words, is that a four squares? That's when the gold starts. There you go. But I've already extended my Frankenstein as far as it'll go. So that's an issue. Uh, you're gonna have to get another one. Yeah, and I don't really have the money for it. Or a rock truck. I got one of those. Now you can use a rock truck and dump it in the Frankenstein. That's true. That's what I've ended up doing. I actually I might be able to just use the front loader to put in the Frankenstein. Or that too, yeah. I mean, I think I can get it close enough where the front end loader is going to be. Like just, you know, same as load the dump truck, basically. Finished set, setting up. I went through another over hundred thousand. Money wise, yep. Jesus. Well, I had to upgrade the claim so I can have more vehicles on it. Yeah. Each one's ten thousand more than the last. Huh. Damn it! I'm at two thirty now. <laughs> oh, although I haven't gotten gold. Since my first day. Yeah, you'll get there. That's hog panning. That's when I got the gold, so. TV or whatever it is. What is that right now? Yeah. I don't even know. I didn't look. 15,000 or some shit. Yeah, probably 33. Actually, uh, yeah, he was at like 28 before, wasn't he? I think 24. Oh, he was at 28. Oh, when I looked, it was 24. Alright, I gotta look. I know I'm gonna hate looking, but... 29. Yeah. Ooh. 29, 157. Must have taken a break. Yeah. Taking a break. Everybody's got a sleep occasion, I suppose, right? Yeah, or eat. That too. Yeah, some of my pile missed because they end up where I first parked the uh, Frankenstein. There was a pile at the where the thing was. Was it? Just a little pile, but. Eh. It's hard to be perfect. Yeah. I mean, if you, as long as I'm not losing gold, I don't, whatever, me a pile. I'll clean. I ain't gonna be losing that much. Yeah, I'll clean up every once in a while. No big deal. Now I've got it hovering over the pit, so I'll just go right back to where I dug it up from. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't have to better off. Suck it. Me too. Well, just, you know, they swap stuff so you can run longer. Yeah. I mean, I'm half tempted, if it wouldn't cost me so much, I'd just shut down for the rest of the season, just spend the days just wait for voids. Fucking fly. But that would be very good. I want to fucking nope. dig. I'm tired of not digging. 
Same here. But if I was you, I'd almost be tempted to just rent the fucking equipment until you can afford it. Although it's that 45% cut for the fucking claim, it's... I, I don't know how to take, you know? Yeah. Like, it's going to take half, right. basically half your money, so... <clears throat> that is a lot. Yeah, so... I don't know if you have enough left over to really expand once you start doing, paying that. I mean, I'm sure you have uh, some, but... Probably, because there's going to be a lot. Yeah. Or you can do what I was, I'm doing. I went, I went to Arnold's. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're wrong. Got a, got a mobile wash plant, I'm on Arnold's, and I just started digging. You get some fucking money and do something besides sit there. True. Well, actually, true. I'm... I'm just going for the magnetite. Yeah. I'm just glad I'm getting a little bit of magnetite from this shit. I don't know how much because I haven't taken it, but my bucket's at 5%, so... At least a few hundred ounces, so... I need like 1,200 to upgrade how much I can do, but since I've only managed to get a total of 60 ounces since I started digging... Yeah, the upgrade's not a big deal right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I mean, it'll get me to 40 at a time instead of uh, 20, but... Which will right. be nice, but... That would be nice, because I would like that, because I don't like doing the 20. Yeah. It takes for fucking hour. Mm-hmm. I'm just hoping I got lucky and picked a good spot. <laughs> yeah, you may have. You'll know soon. I mean, Arnold's is all pretty much the same. Yeah, there might be a couple extra good spots, but... Yeah, but none of them's going to be the super high density stuff. It's all kind of middle of the road. It's yeah. good, though. I mean, you just fucking take the whole thing. It doesn't matter where you're digging. Yep, just start digging and go. Oops. Accidentally changed my camera view. Ruh -ruh. <laughs> Boy, I'm not very good at this right now. I was too. I was tired or what? Yeah, same here. Very clumsy with the excavator. Clumsier than I was earlier, at least. Normal. I mean, I'm never pro with it. It feels like everything's, I mean, every, everything's going backwards for me. Like, I'll, I move left and I want to go right, and that kind of thing. Yeah. I just keep missing the hopper. Yeah, I can't move that myself. Ooh, process pay dirt. 203 yards. I got a little bit done. Hell, with all this shit, I only managed to get, like, just under 800 yards last. Uh, yeah, yesterday, so. I don't hear that far ahead of me. Took me all day to f set it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I bought everything, and then I missed a few things that I forgot that I needed, and ah. so I had to go back. In there. Like, well, at least I have fast travel now, so that helps. Back and forth like a half dozen times. I only had to do it twice. Well, that's good. Yeah. I only did the wash plant and table and the magnetite thing. If I'm still renting something, I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> that may have just been what you owed for rent on the claim. weird amount. It's not gold amount, it's, you know, but whatever it is, but, you know, not enough is going to kill me. Right. 
think I can do much now with this. Time for the front end loader. Ooh. <clears throat> I haven't even got to drive one of those yet. You turn like shit. <laughs> Great. Kinda like the rock truck? Pretty much. I need more buckets. That's hey. the fuel tank I had to reset. That's handy. Since, you know, I haven't fueled it yet. I got the damn thing. Nice. Well, I actually had like half tank. That's pretty. Alright. How far can I throw this thing? <laughs> That'll work. Oh, fuck a duck. Alright. I'm about to call it here, man. Yeah, I'll leave far behind you. I'm just feeling, feeling worn out fucking forever now. I'll try to clean up this road in and then I'm probably gonna take a, take a sack. It's gotta be getting like 4 a.m. here or more. Probably more. Uh, 4.12. Yeah. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, that, that, that's, whoa, oh, oh, stop turning, stop, stop. I don't know if they'll do this here, but I'm gonna try. Alright, I got two buckets of pay dirt and clean them up. Then I'm calling it quits. <laughs> I don't know if I can get in this hole. Shit. Now we'll see what happens here. I think it'll work enough. Oh shit, I forgot to turn the conveyor on. I think I just got a hundred and some uh, ounces of magnetite. Nice. That'd be pretty sweet. I mean, for what I did, not bad. Yeah. And 7.6 ounces of gold. I, I should have moved up. That ain't shabby. Yeah, it should move you up quite a bit, actually. Yeah, 145. Hey, you jumped like, what, almost 100 spots or something? Yeah, 80. <laughs> yeah, 80. <laughs> Just 80. Just 80 spots.
Yeah, turn everything off. I may have to build a proper access road down here. This is going to be too steep. And that pretty much missed the computer. I'm surprised on the gold map, like, if you dig it up, it doesn't show you anything. Yeah. It only shows you if you drill. Drill, baby, drill. But, whatever. Alright. Exit, save game. And quit, and... I will be out of here. Hi, right, man. I will see you tomorrow. Yep. I'll be on. Oh, end of the stream. Boop. Boop. There we go. Nine ounce nugget. Ooh. Yep. I'll uh, see you tomorrow night, man. I'll probably be, you know, early again, like All usual. Right. So, Let's have see. a good one. You too, man. Catch you next right. time. Yep, later. Later. Whoa.
I'm going.